Hi! Welcome to Feel Korean TV Math Corner. In this video, we will tackle subtracting fraction from whole number. Okay, let's start with this problem. 5 minus 2 sixths equals. To solve this, let's follow the steps in subtracting fraction from the whole number. Number 1. Convert the whole number to mixed number in which the fraction is equal to 1 and the denominator is the same as in the denominator of the subtrahend. Number 2. Subtract the numerators. Number 3. Write the whole number. Number 4. Copy the common denominator. And lastly, express the answer in lowest term. Now, let's answer. So, we will change 5 to mixed number. Okay. So, we will get 1 from 5. The number 5 will become 4. And the 1 that we get from 5 will be changed into fraction equal to 1. In which the denominator is 6 because the denominator of the subtrahend is 6. So, 1 will become... 6 sixths. So let's write it. 6 sixths. Then write the subtrahend 2 sixths. The next step, we will add 4 plus 6 sixths. So if we add 4 plus 6 sixths, the answer is 4 and 6 sixths. Okay, then write the subtrahend 2 sixths equals. So the whole number 5 becomes 4 and 6 sixths. It is a mixed number now. So, we can subtract now. Okay, to subtract, just subtract the numerators. So, subtract 6 minus 2 equals 4. Then, write the whole number 4 and copy the LCD 6. So, the answer is 4 and 4 sixth. But, we need to reduce this to lowest term. Because the fraction 4 sixth is not in lowest term. So we need to get the GCF of 4 and 6 and we will divide them by their GCF. Okay, let's do it. The GCF of 4 and 6 is 2. Okay, so let's answer. Copy the whole number 4, then divide. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. And 6 divided by 2 equals 3. So the answer is 4 and 2 thirds. Let's have another example. 8 minus 3 fifths equals. Okay. So the first step that we are going to do is to change the whole number to mixed number. But this time I will teach you the technique in changing whole number into mixed number easily and quickly. The technique is that minus 1 from the whole number and change that 1 into a fraction equal to 1 in which the denominator is the same as the denominator of the subtrahend. Okay, let's do it. Let's minus 1 from 8. 8 minus 1 equals 7. And then... Write a fraction equal to 1 in which the denominator is the same as the denominator of the subtrahend. The denominator of the subtrahend is 5. So, we will write 5 fifths. So, the whole number 8 becomes 7 and 5 fifths. Now, write the subtrahend 3 fifths. Okay? Since the whole number is a mixed number now so we can subtract now subtract the numerators 5 minus 3 equals 2 then write the whole number 7 and copy the common denominator 5 the answer is 7 and 2 fifths this technique will help you save time in answering as well as the space in your paper. I hope you learned from this video. See you next time. God bless.